Hey, this week, many children are headed back to school, and for some, it'll be the first time since the beginning of the pandemic. It's not unusual for feelings of angst and separation anxiety to surface about the time away from home and their family and going back to school. And this morning, Dr. Yasmin Sat, author and licensed clinical psychologist in New York City, joins us this morning to talk a little bit more about it and how parents can really support their children. Good morning. Thanks for joining us, doctor. Good morning, thank you for having me. So Dr. Sad, first let's talk a little bit about what separation anxiety is. What are some uh, things that we can notice in children if this is happening? Yes, so children usually exhibit you know, intense crying, sometimes clinging to the parents and other times it's just gonna be headache, nausea, physical symptoms. So sometimes it's hard to notice it because you will think your child is just a little bit sick, but it's actually related to separation anxiety. Mm -hmm. And talk a little bit more about um, this experience and, and can you explain why exactly? I mean, I think it goes without saying, we know children have been spending a lot of time with their parents. Yes. Usually separation anxiety happens when there's a change in the environment or a stressful event. And COVID has been a stressful event that has led a lot of children to have a total change in their environment, in their schooling, in the way they live life. So now that they have to go back to in-person schooling, anxiety is something normal that children will likely be experiencing. Right. And Dr. Saad, you mentioned some of the things that children, some of the behaviors children might be exhibiting, such as crying or clinging to parents, but also things like digestive issues. What are some ways that parents can maybe start a conversation with their child if they are old enough to share some of their feelings? Or, or what are some things to notice um, to really understand if they are having separation anxiety? Yes, so the first thing you wanna believe in your child, you wanna believe that your child is gonna be okay. And then you wanna convey that to your children. So the best way to do it is to really normalize their fears by talking to them in a calm and compassionate tone. Then what you wanna do after that, you wanna really prepare them for the change. So you wanna walk them through the events prior during and after the separations. And you wanna empower them. So children usually rely on imagination to build confidence, to so give them superhero powers that they will feel strong about. Then practice separating. Start by introducing them to the school or the daycare or the new caretaker. Spend a few minutes away from them and gradually increase the time. And at the time of separation, just distract them. And when you reunite, encourage them to think about how great the reunion is and praise their effort and give them rewards. Yeah, those are some great tips. Now, Dr. Sad, undoubtedly, I, I too have friends that are experiencing this, but the adults are experiencing it as well. Um, are these uh, some good ways for adults to also uh -huh. handle a little bit of that separation anxiety from their little ones? Absolutely. So for adults, what you want to do for yourself is you want to remember your child's strengths. They have unique abilities and focus on that. Focus on their ability to easily ask for help, to be quick thinkers. Every child is different, so focus on that. Also focus that, you know, every stress builds, you know, personality and builds confidence. So your child has to practice this. Unfortunately, it's the way of life. Yes, exactly. It is the way of life. Well, we appreciate you joining us this morning uh, to talk a little bit more about this phenomenon. Of course, good luck to all of the little ones and parents in this back to school. Thanks so much for joining us, Dr. Sad. Thank you for having me.